Was there a call? Was there a call? You were so chatty earlier. I'm not doing this, bro. You're using a fire lane that says no parking. You're getting your lunch. You're a disgrace. You would write anybody else a parking ticket. Okay, we're out here today at the Orange City Police Department so we can uh, hold those accountable for breaking the law. Let's see what they say. It's just me. I'm recording myself, not you, just so you know. Like, okay. um, um, hi. How are you? Doing okay. Is Hoffman, right? Yes, sir. Ah. Well, I'll be following a motion for dismissal on your case because I didn't see any evidence of my uh, taillight being out on your body camera, so... If not, we'll see you in court. Okay. Um, if, is Jason or... Um, uh, Chief or even El Shami here? I can go... Let me go look and see. Because I want to show them this video so they can see it for themselves. Did Yes, he did. He's on his way here. But yesterday, we, one of the Orange City police officers was using your fire lane as a personal grocery spot. Not only that, but he had his emergency lights activated. I just found out there was no calls for service. So, well, I know, but that's your, that's your fire lane, right? Yeah. Like, you, that's, that's your baby. Mm -hmm. That's your baby. And what are the rules if someone's parking in a fire lane? I'm not supposed to park in a fire lane. What, what, what kind of repercussions does a, a civilian like myself get if they were to park in a fire lane? Um, normally, um, we would just tell you to, hey, you know, it's a fire lane, can you move on? Yeah. And if they, and if they were standing, like they were not with their vehicle? That would be a police department issue. Okay. Even though it's a fire lane, we don't, we're not allowed to hand out tickets or anything like that. It would be a, a police department. Understood. Well, just know that the, the officers are using your fire lane to do their grocery shopping. So, I don't know how, I don't, yeah. yeah. So, have a hey. good one. Alrighty, so um, yesterday I told you what I saw, and I'm going to show you the video of this. And I have to grab the other footage off my GoPro today. I'm not doing this with you today, bro. No seatbelt. And then almost like. You said this, uh, this was already posted, so I got mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yeah. What was that in altercation before that you said? So there was, a, there was a, um, a, a traffic, stop, traffic stop over at the Lucky Duck. I think it's called the auto. There's like an auto. By the store. restaurant? Yeah, no, it's a. I believe it's a car. It used to be an old car dealership. Okay, I don't have the picture. Maybe I can recognize it. I yeah, you'll you'll recognize it once you see it. But um, hold on. So th there's like a, a building right here. This is on 1792. On Volusia, okay. Yep, yep. Before the interstate, like before the 40, I think it's 41. But so he's here. I'm I'm far. I'm really. Oh, far. it was it was separate from the public since yeah. this is a traffic stop. Yeah. Okay, so okay. I was far. Like this is as close as I got okay. to the stop. He was from here on video antagonizing me, yelling at me like, do you have a problem? Do you need help with something? And I shook my head like this, and then he kept yelling at me. And then when he got closer, he goes, what, you're just silent, you don't talk to anybody? And I'm like, I'm not trying to interfere with your, 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 uh, your traffic stop. Obviously. But yet you're, you're engaging in me, antagonizing me, when you should be focused on this traffic stop. I'm nowhere near you. No, I agree. Uh, were you about, um, like, were you in a distance, like, about how many feet? Uh, over, like, over 60 yards. 60 yards, yes. okay. Because I, what I try and maintain is, the, uh, I try to maintain the, the sidewalk. Yeah. And I also try to keep a respectful distance because, again, these are dangerous situations and I'm not trying to... Yeah, you're just trying to document it in as safety as possible. Correct, yeah, yeah. Example. So... When, during that incident, was that being video tip? Yes, yep, and I have, that, I have that as well. Okay, so, as well yeah, I have to... It, that one's a little bit longer of a video, so I just had to Cut it pull it off my phone, okay. throw it online, but I wanted to, again, if he wasn't on a call at Publix, and then we, we tacked that with his reactions earlier, he's, in my opinion, not fit for duty. 
because if he's if he's if he's willing to break the, like if he's willing to activate his lights and lights on to park in the fire lane. That to me shows that he does not care about the law. Like he's above it. He's able to use his emergency lights to then perceive that he was able to park there. Yeah, to, uh, so you're saying based on what you observed and the lights on and the fire lane, well, unless it's in the course of actually doing his duties. Well, and here is that. his call log. Yes. And there was. So this was around 11.45. Wait, this is a different day. Hold on. That's a different day. Uh, yes. We're looking for, here we go, all right, August 27th. So, all right, so around 1245, I don't see any Publix addresses here. No, because that would be enterprise if there was yep. something. Yes. No, I, I see it. Sorry. So why are, why, are, why are our officers using red and blue lights to get that, lunch? That, this is how it works. Obviously, when we're in the course of duty, when we're in uniform and in the patrol car, we're at due to what the law is in regards to responding to calls for services in, in department stores, stores with the fire line. We are allowed to park here on the course of our duties. Under the course of, under your course duties. of duties. That wasn't done. Okay. Uh, in other cases where it's just for personal use for uh, lunches and stuff, that's something that we don't. Yeah. That's not part of the course of duties. So that's something that needs to be discussed especially if it's a fire lane violation, things like that, because we do have a sign to the public that if we're enforcing laws such as the fire lane violations, then we need to also abide by it yeah. when it's not in the course of doing our duties with emergencies. And I think had he just parked there without any lights, maybe it wouldn't be as egregious, yes. but the fact that he was utilizing lights to trick the public into thinking he was allowed to be there Unacceptable. That is unacceptable, and that's something that I need to have also speak with him about. And what's the mentality that we're having the red and blue lights? Is it? I couldn't think of one. I is, tried. Is it uh, for, like you said, for the you know the public saying that he's in a duty call? That's why he's there, or is it because he's just trying to make sure that he's a police officer? He's there, and no one reports him. That's something that has to be looked at, wow. and that's a hundred percent. Occam's razor. Yeah. The evidence shows there was no call. Yes. If there was if there was no call, why are lights on? Exactly. Those are things that will need to be discussed. I know. And These are the questions I want yeah. answered in the IA investigation. And you're here to file a uh, paper. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Did they give you the paperwork. Nope. Yeah. No. Or else I would have filled it out. Yeah. I was wondering if they already started. No. Just uh, stand by. Let me see if I can get one from there. I, I used to think there was over here. Yeah. No worries. And if there's one online. Yeah. Oh.